Uh, first of all, this is the course calendar or course syllabus as they uh, know it. Uh, and you know that uh, in this course we will have three books. Okay, uh, the first book is related to the human resource management. Okay, and this is the book, Human Resource Management by Turington, eighth edition, the eighth edition, the one that you receive. Uh, from the uh, bookstore. Okay. And this book will be used for the weeks 1, 2, 3, and uh, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8. 7 and 8. Okay. Uh, we will take uh, human resource management during those weeks. After that, we will uh, discuss the ideas about accounting uh, and finance. We will take accounting, uh, introduction to accounting, and the book, uh, the textbook for this uh, part is the accounting and introduction by McLenny and uh, Atrill, the second edition. And this book will be used for the weeks 4, 5, 6, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. Finally, we will take uh, the, the last part of the uh, course, which is related to information management in context, and the book uh, for this uh, part is the information management in context by Hinton. And this will be used for the week number 14. Okay. Uh, there is also uh, an additional uh, uh, resource for this course, which, uh, which is the book number 5. Uh, which is human resource management, uh, the white, the white small book that you have received uh, with the uh, course materials. Okay, uh, what about this course? This course will give you an introduction to uh, three major parts in the business, or we can say that uh, it will give you an introduction to three functions. Okay, let us call it functions uh, because it's it's really the functions of the business. The first function that we will discuss, inshallah, is the human resource management or human resource function. Okay, and then after that we will have the accounting and finance function. And finally, we will discuss the information management function. Okay, uh, human resource management has a lot of uh, theories and a lot of uh, topics that are related to business and are related mainly to human resource management, uh, like, for example, the uh, recruitment, uh, selection, uh, performance management. Um, all of these uh, sub functions um, are related to human resource, resource management in the organization. Okay. And then, uh, the, the, uh, and then the accounting. We will shall discuss the accounting uh, in the same uh, the same time. And uh, yeah, in the accounting, we have uh, we have some topics uh, or some subjects like the financial accounting or financial uh, uh, statements, like the income statement, uh, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. All of these statements will be discussed during uh, our discussion about accounting and finance. And finally, the information management, which we will cover the, uh, some, some, sub, uh, some subjects like um, the, uh, the data or the, the management, the information, all of these items will be discussed in information management. Okay. This is the uh, topics uh, or the course calendar that we will, uh, we will cover inshallah, during this semester. Uh, we will cover first uh, in human resource. We will cover chapter one, uh, the nature of human resource management. Uh, in this chapter, we will, discuss, uh, we will define the human resource management. Uh, we, uh, okay, uh, there is two, um, 
there is a generic term for human resource management and the approach of human resource management. Then we will uh, skip chapter two and we will take chapter three, which is related to strategic human resource management. <clears throat> In this chapter, we will uh, have only one uh, topic, which is related to the link between business and human resource strategy. Okay. Next, we will take chapter seven, and chapter seven is related to recruitment, and recruitment is one of the uh, most important um, process in human resource. We will see what is the meaning of recruitment, uh, what what the meaning of internal recruitment or external recruitment or online recruitment, uh, and uh, the, the the subject of employer branding. Next, we will take chapter eight, which is about selection methods and decisions. In selection method, we will have definition in, uh, of uh, selection, and then. Uh, we will see what are the most <coughs> famous methods that are used in selection. Um, okay, then we will uh, take uh, chapter nine, and in chapter nine we will uh, chapter nine is about the staff retention, the staff retention. Okay. Which is the uh, which is one of the most important uh, subjects uh, in human resource. Okay, and we will see how can we retain our uh, staff. Okay, then we will stop human resource, and then uh, in in uh, in the fourth week we will take chapter one of accounting part and we will discuss uh, in chapter one we will discuss introduction to accounting and finance uh, some definitions some uh, thoughts uh, some theories about accounting and finance okay then we will take chapter two and chapter two is related to uh, the uh, income statement the income statement okay or um, uh, in general measuring and reporting financial position. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, uh, measuring and uh, measuring and reporting financial position by taking the uh, uh, the the three major financial statements. We will discuss inshallah this issue uh, during our discussion in chapter two. Then uh, we will continue our discussion about. Uh, financial statement okay by uh, seeing chapter 3 and chapter 3 is related to measuring and reporting financial performance how can we measure the performance of the, uh, the, of the financial uh, activities in organizations okay we will have uh, another material which is block 5 session 65 and session 65 of Loop 5 is related to strategic aspects of development. Okay, and then we will take chapter 18. Chapter 18 is related to learning and development. And you can see here that we return back to human resource because learning and development is part of human resource. Okay, so here in, 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 in week six, Okay, we will stop accounting, and in week seven, we will again uh, go back to human resource and discuss, uh, in chapter 18, we will discuss learning and development. Okay, and then we will continue also human resource in chapter 23 by uh, discussing the uh, uh, sitting pay or uh, pay, uh, paying, the salaries to employees. How can, uh, what, what is the meaning of salaries and what, uh, what it, it contains and what are the major types of uh, pay? Uh, next, we'll take in chapter six, measuring and, okay, and then 
again we go back to finance and accounting and we will take chapter 6 of accounting book okay measuring and reporting cash flows and here we will take one of the most important uh, statements financial statements which is the cash flow statement and we will see some uh, information about uh, cash flow statement then uh, uh, the midterm exam will be in the 16th of November this is the date of midterm examination okay which is in week 10 after the midterm we will continue uh, our discussion about human resource by uh, no no uh, sorry uh, we will continue our discussion about accounting and finance by uh, exploring chapter 8 which is related to relevant costs for decision making uh, and also chapter 9 about cost volume profit analysis and this is one of the most important topics in accounting and finance and I want uh, for you to focus on this part because it's uh, it's important part of, uh, of accounting and finance also uh, in chapter 12 uh, the budgeting uh, subject will be discussed in chapter 12 of finance financial book or finance book okay and uh, we will see in budgeting what are the major um, uh, the major ideas in, in budgeting and how can we decide uh, what is the best way of budgeting our business uh, chapter chapter 14 uh, is related to the capital investment decisions and we will see in this chapter how can we decide uh, the best investment or how can we make the, the, good, uh, the best decision making the decision about investment we will discuss an idea like for example ARR or accounting rate of return or uh, TP uh, which is the paying back period and also we will discuss NPV which is the net uh, profit uh, net, uh, net present value okay and internal rate of return all of these uh, uh, all of these ideas and uh, uh, concepts will be discussed in chapter 14 which is one of the most important chapters in uh, accounting book okay and finally we will take uh, the information system part beginning by uh, seeing chapter 8 which is related to generic types of information systems okay and then chapter 9 about the business information systems uh, uh, chapter 14 finally which is the about the framework for e business okay and by by uh, finishing chapter 14 we will finish uh, this course inshallah and if we have uh, one week or several days we will inshallah try to uh, review all the parts that we already had and if you have any questions about that then inshallah we will discuss it at that time